Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Academic Made Easy Peasy. If you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe it and also click the bell icon. In this video, I will teach you how to find the principal and general solutions for any trigonometric equations. So now let us learn about trigonometric equations. So what is trigonometric equations mean? See, we are writing sine theta is equal to 1 by 2. So we will be finding the value of theta over here. No, it will be if it is 1 by 2. If sine is 1 by 2, at which radian it is? Pi by 6. No. So finding like this or Writing like this is called trigonometric equations. Okay, so equations involving trigonometric functions of a variable are called trigonometric equations. I think you will be clear with what is trigonometric equation. If we just write any equation like this, then it is called trigonometric equations. Now let us learn an important topic that is principal solution. Principal solution means what? See, a e trigonometric equation will be given. Okay, a trigonometric equation is given and we have to find the value of x. Okay, that is what principal solution. The solution of trigonometric equation for which 0 less than equal to x less than 2 pi. So, at what all position sin is root 3 by 2 we will be checking. That's it. Okay. So, we know where uh, uh, sin is root 3 by 2. Where is sin root 3 by 2? Sin, when x is equal to pi by 3 sin, uh, sin is root 3 by 2. And we also have to check with the third quadrant. No? So, uh, in this first quadrant, here it is uh, root 3 by 2. And here also, um, sine is positive in this uh, second quadrant also. No? So, we have to check x is equal to pi minus since this uh, is before pi by pi. No? So, I will be just subtracting. So, pi minus 3. So, we know that sin pi minus x is equal to sin x. No. So, therefore, I will be just subtracting this. So, it is 3 pi minus pi by 3 is equal to 2 pi by 3. So, therefore, since it is positive, I will be checking wherever sin is positive. Okay. So, only in these two places sin is positive. So, I will be taking the value of x as pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3. So, these two are the principal solution of the given equation. Okay. So, that's it. Next topic is general solution. So, in principal solution, directly we found the answer. Okay. So, since we found the answer, it was in the form of radians only. So, that is radians of the given equation only we found. Okay. So, here in this general solution, general means what? Generally, we are denoting something with some any number or uh, for example, when we uh, denote uh, natural numbers, it is capital letter N. So, this is a general form for natural numbers. Just like that we will be doing. We will not be directly finding the principal solution. That is finding the number or the value. Instead, indirectly or else the general term we will be finding. Okay, that's it. The expression in terms of integer n which gives all solution of the trigonometric equations is called general solution as I said. So, now let me teach you how to find that. So, now consider this equation cos 4x is equal to cos 2x, okay. So, let me write it as cos 4x minus cos 2x is equal to 0. So, already we have learned the formula cos x minus cos y is equal to minus 2 cos, sorry, sin x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2. No? So, we will be applying this here. So, my x is equal to 4x and y is equal to 2x. No? So, directly I will be just doing it. So, cos 4x minus cos 2x is equal to minus 2 sin 4x plus plus 2x divided by 2 into sin 4x minus 2x by 2. Okay, so this one I will write it as minus 2 sin 
six x by two into sine two x by two, which is two minus two into sine six x by two. It is three x and sine x. Okay, so now I have said that cos ah uh, cos four x minus cos two x is equal to zero. No, here. So I will just equate this to zero. Okay, so I will have zero is equal to sine three x and sine x. So I will be equating each sine three x and sine x to zero. So I will have sine x is equal to zero and sine three x is equal to zero. So where is sine zero? It is sine is zero at uh, zero and pi. No, so I will just directly substitute to pi. So when x is equal to pi only, sine is zero. And when um, here I have three x. No, so it is zero at pi. So my x is equal to pi by three. So at pi and pi by 3 no so this is the general form for any solution so this is the general solution you can add in n so n pi and n pi okay so n pi and n pi by 3 it is zero so where n belongs to some integers okay so that's it if you have any doubts mention it in the comment box Like, comment, share, and subscribe.